for 5,000 rand in the cloud, and at this moment, I'll just say, let me tra transfer 100 rand into the card. Yes. And the other 4,000 rand is not linked to the card. You, you are hitting the nail on the head here. And that is, people don't understand the difference between a traditional bank and the FinTech solution that we offer. Mm. If we had a whiteboard, I could have drawn some pictures here, but just to reiterate what you are saying is, if you bank with another bank, whatever is in your, your account, your it's card is in sync. Yes. Yeah, it's in sync. Mm. So if, if you've got a thousand rand and I swipe for 500 rand, now there's only 500 rand left in my account. Mm. With money 24 seven, it doesn't work like that. It's mm. not in sync. Your money is in the cloud and you have to load whatever you need onto your card. It has to yeah. rain down from the cloud. It has to rain card. down into your card. Mm. I, I, I call it the airdrop, I, I guess, the, the new fancy. Mm. <laughs> airdrop, so, uh, uh, airdrop the money. The yeah. safest way, the safest way, because even if you can get a card, if you, you, didn't, know, you didn't load any money in the card, that card is not working. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you see, but we give you, we, we give you the option. We, we give you. the power to you. We you empower you. you. Oh. Remember, because we are getting now to a second point where you can have up to four cards. Mm. We're getting to that. Yeah. That is my Indian friend said, but there's more. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now I've got my primary card, but my mom is living in Guiani. Mm. So how do I get money to my mom? Either via the taxi and I put it in here and then the taxi goes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there goes the taxi. What happens sometimes? There's an accident. We, we've arrived at, at certain uh, accident zones where the money was just lying everywhere. So. The taxi driver was transporting like half a million rand to Guiani. Mm -hmm. He, you know, he's the he's the courier, yes. the so. transporter. <laughs> now I can give this card. I, I take out the card is on my name. I'm being thicker. Mm. I take out a secondary card and I send this via courier or whatever. I take it to my mom and say, Mom, this is your card. Mm. Now remember, the money is in the cloud. Yeah. Now I give five hundred rand on my card. One thousand rand for my for my mom, mm -hmm. two hundred rand for the wife, and six hundred rand for the girlfriend. Mm -hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> Only a <two. laughs> I didn't see that coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, you know, you can have more than one card, and mm -hmm. you are in control of your money. Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Let's move on from from that point. <clears throat> you can also transact via the internet or via Star 120. Now sometimes, we all know that, like my mom, she's 84, she's got one of those Nokia 3310s. Don't think sure. that you're going to take that phone away from her and give her a Samsung. I tried that one, she, she threw the Samsung away. <laughs> so she can still transact with those old, yeah, old phones. Star 120, blah, 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 and they can transact. Funeral cover and other benefits included, we'll get to that now. Mm. And send money home. We spoke about that just now. So you can have one card plus three additional cards linked to your e-wallet. Mm. Forget what I said about the girlfriend. Yeah. I was only joking. Yeah. But if you if you need to send money home, let's let's take a practical example. Mandla is working here. His mom is living in Aurora. We all know what, what a mission it is now. There are suppliers that are, you can send money home, mm. but it takes a while and it, and it costs money, etc., etc., etc. What is the other problem that Zimbabwe is facing at the moment? Who can tell me? <coughs> cash. Currency. Yeah. They don't have cash. Yeah. So you can't go to ATM and, and take out the cash. You can't go to a bank. The cash is on the street. So they call this plastic money. They, they refer to this as plastic money. So all that I do is, Mandla goes star 120, 2,000 rand to his gogo in Arare, it's Im available immediately. Tit -tit, it's there, he instantly. She can go to the spa or to the checkers or anywhere, wherever MasterCard is accepted, any place in the world. Mm. She can go and transact, or let's say it's another country and there, there, there's an ATM, they can go to the closest ATM where MasterCard is accepted, and take out the cash. Mm. How cool is that? Simple. 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 Easy. If the Gogo loses the card, the money is not gone. Pull the money back. Send a new card. Okay. Very safe. Just uh, yeah, on the card issue, we are saying <coughs> you can have 
extra three cuts. Yes. Are those, is there any cost to the three cuts? Very good question. We do have a schedule. Remember the first card will be 150 Rand. And why do we pay the 150 Rand? Why do we pay? I think everybody understands that there's a bit of cost involved. There's an envelope. There's the plastic fee. Mm. Some of the money goes back into Kingdom Global, into the network. Mm. Somebody the other day told me, listen, but we're a church. We're not so worried about money. I said, listen, I can understand what you're saying. Mm. You know, I'm a businessman. I, I, I want the money. Mm. However, a church is also a business. I see a church also as a business because mm. if, you, if you have resources, you need resources to help people and to spread the word. I've heard what you guys are doing here. You have to mobilize and you have to talk to people and, and that costs money. Mm. The more money we can make for the church, the more people we can help and the better we can spread the word of God. Mm. It's as simple as that. Mm. So that guy said, things, okay, oh, you've got a valid point. Okay, so the 150 Rand is also MasterCard gets a bit and Mercantile Bank for activating this mm. card. Okay, the second card will be 75 Rand. So it's a little bit cheaper. So we're not going to charge the client 150 rand again, so it's 75 rand, and the monthly fee we'll get to that. The monthly fee on the card is 79 rand per month, that includes the funeral cover and all the other benefits that we'll get to in a moment. Mm -hmm. The second card will only be 59 rand because remember, the funeral cover is only on the principal card holder, not on his goal's life, etc. Mm -hmm. etc. Mm -hmm. That phase is still coming. We will have other uh, funeral cover and insurance benefits for for the rest of the family. Okay, thank you for, for that. That 150 is for one cut. Yeah. Then the extra three cuts, at what rate is it going to be? It's Still 100. 75, 75, 75. Okay. 79 for the first card, 79, 79 every month. Other one, 59 per card, 59, 59 rand per card. When it comes to 150, at the point that the person is interested to open an account, that is when they should pay that 150 that or at that point? Yes. Okay, because, all right. I think we also need to look at that when it comes to, we, uh, my focus will still be on the, uh, the vulnerable people. Not really vulnerable, because yes. they have the money, but the trust, they don't understand <laughs> the banking sector so yes. well. Yes. And uh, for someone who has been keeping the money in, under the bed, in the mattresses, has never lost the money because in this community, it's a small community, mm. they, we don't have crimes with guns and hair stuff. Mm. So they don't understand mm. these things of crime. Mm. So when for them to open an account at the rate of 150, they think it's a lot of money. Mm. What is their good million? But they say, 150 for what? They don't mm. understand this technology. Yes, yes. So we need to find some incentives, which is initiatives, yeah. on how this, a certain minimum amount mm that can be used to attract them yes. to be able to and to be able to open yeah. the account yeah. and then we need to define some indirect cost specifically i think that can, you see someone one would love to have a deduction indirectly mm -hmm. than paying it mm -hmm. this is what we have seen because yeah. people they don't understand technology i've seen it with the data with airtime yeah. They are this. They they, they they come to find if they increase the price of airtime mm -hmm. based on fat because the fat has increased by one percent, people will not buy mm -hmm. because when you look at the price, they run away. Mm -hmm. So, what do you do now? You pray within the figures, mm -hmm. they allow the same amount of airtime 10 rand, mm -hmm. then they reduce airtime indirect mm -hmm. to cover up for VAT. Yeah. And this is one of the systems that we need to use in other areas whereby we try to find a certain amount of incentives to for that one fifty indirectly cost and a small amount of course that they can make probably open an account at 40 rand but in the next three months we are going to pay for a certain amount of money that is going to cover that 150 or 79 79 for the extra I understand. Cost. point taken we are talking to some other loyalty partners to see if we can sponsor this amount you know we are looking at initiatives like that i hear what you're saying the first prize will be for us that the client will get this account basically for free but somebody has got to pay because